Hi, have you ever heard the phrase, this or that has gone kaput? My car battery went kaput. America's gone kaput. Fill in the blank. Well, that phrase, kaput, actually comes from the term caput mortuum. And that word has a link to alchemy. The word caput mortuum, <coughs> loosely translated, means death's head or the head of death. And it refers to the waste material left over from an alchemical process. In plant alchemy, we usually start off with something uh, that we know has valuable substances in it. For example, this uh, baby echinacea flower, which will grow, and we can harvest the root and use alcohol to extract the essential uh, medicines from it. And then at some point we have leftover plant material. The leftover plant material is then burned and rendered to ash. That ash can then be mixed with clean water and from that water, we can obtain salts that are water soluble that can then be dried out again and mixed back into the medicine. However, there's portions of the ash that are simply not usable in most medicines or alchemical processes. In today's video, we'll go into more detail about what we could do with the caput mortuum. I have taken a campfire or wood stove fire and separated the burned ash into three main categories. The first of the components separated from the remnants of a fire, plant fire, with water is, is charcoal. The water itself used in the process will have picked up a bunch of water-soluble salts. After sitting for a long time, it tends to pick up a bit of a yellowish color. And last of all, we have the caput mortuum. These are the non-water soluble salts and minerals left over. There's really not much to it. It's like a, look at that. It's like ash, but it's not very caustic because we've leached out most of the caustic material. So what I plan to do with this is mix it with a little bit of vinegar and neutralize any remaining alkalinity, then let it dry out again. And then I'll take this very fine mineral powder and mix it into molten plastic to see if we can make a brick. Really don't mind if you sit this one out My words but a whisper, your deafness ain't shout I may make you feel but I can't make you think Your sperm's in the gutter, your love's in the sink So you ride yourselves over the fields And you make all your animal deals And your wise men don't know how it feels You'd be thick as a brick And castle virtues are all swept away In the tidal destruction, the moral malay The elastic retreat rings the clothes of play As the last wave uncovers the new vangled way But your new shoes are worn at the heels And your sun tan is wrapped in the field And your wise men don't know how it feels To be thick as a brick And the love that I feel 
is so far away. I'm a bad dream that I just had today. And you shake your head and <laughs> said it's a shame. Spin me back down the years and the days of my youth. Draw the lace and black curtains and shut out the whole truth. Spin me down the long ages, let them sing the song. go ahead and call this a failed experiment um, the biggest fail was one of a personal nature because I stepped on my dick I've always thought that phrase was funny but if you think about it it's kind of like saying my energy and my ego and my action got too exaggerated and out of line and I stumbled and um, screwed some stuff up <clears throat> mainly I uh, neglected to follow my own safety rules and uh, I really neglected my own safety with the fumes coming off of that and, and the flames and everything uh, it was a hazard to my own health and to the health of the environment around me so 
yeah, that was a mistake. Um, does plastic recycling work? Sure. But for the home, you know, backyard chemist type thing, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, now, maybe if you did some experiments along the lines of a solar uh, heating apparatus that could melt it down and maybe distill it back into an oil that you could use for a diesel engine or something, um, that might be worth it. Um, the mixture itself, I'm, I like the color of it. Uh, the texture's nice. It just came out too brittle, which is probably just a function of getting it too hot. I think there's still some room for improvement here. I may <clears throat> try the experiment again with a, a little more delicate uh, heating, um, more controlled heating. And um, But yeah, I think probably we'll uh, wrap this video up and uh, just say, well, we learned a couple things not to do and we learned that the plastic is sensitive to being overheated and catching on fire and becoming brittle and uh, I think I'll probably use this kaput mortuum mix in other mixtures and see what else I can do with it so we're not quite out of the woods yet see this is one of those cases where my intentions were to help the environment but you know, through recycling, I was intending to help the environment, but uh, I think in the long run, it would have ended up causing more harm than good. And I think what got in the way was my own ego. Uh, the, the, I got caught up in trying to accomplish a feat for my own pride. So I think from an alchemy perspective, working with Caput Mortuum is going to be a humbling experience for anybody that tries to make something out of what is otherwise discarded. I also reflect upon this and think, you know, the, the whole alchemy thing has caused so many problems on the planet. I mean, this is a precursor to chemistry, and look what humans have done with chemistry. It made a big mess on the whole planet, really. Uh, but also a lot of achievements and, and good things. So, you know, um, I think I've been a little too aristocratic in my mindset uh, towards the chemistry knowledge and um, it doesn't really matter wh whether you're super advanced at chemistry or, or in the middle or uh, have zero chemistry knowledge and call yourself an alchemist and just focus on spiritual self-improvement. I think that's fine. There's people that are consider themselves alchemists and it's a means to make themselves and others happier and spiritually improve each other and um, I think that's that's just fine there's no reason you have to have chemistry in your alchemy this piece came out stronger I think you know it's got potential if you can get the the uh, brittleness factor under control and I, I do like the, the, the kind of stone-like composite texture that it has <laughs>